Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to get a little bit of practice with some of these definitions we've learned by working a couple of quick problems. These are representative of what you might see on a quiz or an exam, and they're really designed just to make sure you understand the difference between populations and parameters and some of these other things we've talked about. So in the first uh, couple of problems here, what I want you to do is read the problem and try to figure out, is this talking about a population or is this talking about a sample? And so from by now you should already know what those definitions mean. The population is what you're studying, it's the large group, and the sample is the subset that you collect information from. So the first question is, the height of every fourth bottle on an assembly line, the height of every fourth bottle on an assembly line, do you think that represents a population? Or do you think that represents a sample, the height of every fourth bottle? So you're measuring the height, measuring the height, but you're only doing it to every fourth bottle. Well, that by definition is referencing a sample. You're not looking at all bottles. See, all bottles in the, in the manufacturing plant would be the population. That's everything if you're measuring the height of all the bottles. But you're not doing that. It says you're looking at the height of every fourth bottle because you don't have time to measure all of them. So you're spot checking every fourth one. You're looking at the sample there. You're taking a sampling along the assembly line. So that's why it's a sample. And the next question, tell me uh, if you think it's a population or a sample. Uh, the ages of all of the United States presidents. So we have, you know, so many presidents. We know their age, the ages that when they were in office. All right. So that's raw data. We can go President 1, President 2, President 3, President 4. We can list all of their ages when they were sworn into office. That's the data. Is this a population or is this a sample? And I would argue that this is a population. Because it's clear that we're talking only about presidents. Presidents would not be a, a representative sampling of any larger group of people. Presidents are pretty special, right? They're very, very special people that eventually get to that position, right? So it doesn't make sense that presidents would be a small subset of some larger group of people. Um, presidents are the important group of people that we, would be, be, that we would be studying and we would want to know their ages. So since that particular population is fairly small, we're able to go in the history books and get the data. And so we would know that the ages of all the presidents there and that would be uh, rep referencing a population. Specifically, if we calculated their average age or something like that, if we did some calculation with that information, that would be a population parameter because that would be something that would be describing the population. All right, now in the next problem, what I want to do is want to read it, and then I want you to pull out the different pieces of information in the problem and tell me what is the population and what is the sample based on what we read here. And so let's go ahead and do the first one here. A researcher stops 100 people in a store to ask a survey of household income. A researcher stops 100 people in a store to ask a survey of household income. So my question to you is, what is the sample and what is the uh, population? Let's start with the population. This could be open to interpretation a little bit, but I would argue that the population here is all shoppers in the store, right? And then I would also argue that the sample is 100 people chosen. There's a, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle room in, in how you do this. I mean, the sample is, is rock solid. Nobody